Okay, we're back here live in Las Vegas. Uh, this is theCUBE. I'm John Furrier with Dave Vellante. We have a special walk-on guest, uh, Bill Gaylord, SVP of BizDev. Used to run corporate development, now BizDev. You guys are growing. You have to hire people now for specific jobs. BizDev, big role, um, yep, obviously. Yep. Uh, welcome to theCUBE. Thank you, thanks for having me. Um, great, great time last here. night. Uh, we had a great chat. You guys had a great party. Thank great you. people on your team, great company. Congratulations on your success. Um, so tell us, what's it like uh, to sit back and look at the Splunk conference, Doc Conference 2013, look it's, at uh, the, the IPO under your belt, smooth sailing, growth, customer ecosystem booming, balls in the middle of the fairway right now. It's, it's been an incredible ride, John. It's, uh, you know, you have to kick yourself and feel like, am, am I really, is this the real deal? And uh, particularly this year, you look at the folks we got here in the partner pavilion, it's packed, we're sold out, we're out of space. Uh, almost up 100% from last year, and the amount of activity we're having, the growth of the ecosystem we've seen over the course of the past year has just been fantastic. Um, and I think that people are really coming to the realization that this is a platform that they can build real value on. So we've seen adoption of the product across the enterprise as a true enterprise platform, and now we're seeing that uh, viability in the marketplace is a real commercial platform. Talk about, uh, oh, go ahead, John, sorry. Talk about, um, I'll let Dave, Dave wants to jump in, he's got a lot of questions. Talk about <laughs> your, 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 We only have five minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Given your experience, talk about the, uh, what you've seen in your life that can compare the inflection point of growth and the market that we're in. I mean, the, it's, it really is a confluence of so many mega trends in this perfect storm of innovation. Can you, just, how do you sure. describe that, given sure. your, you know, looking at your history? Um, so I came out of the BI space, spent a lot of time at Hyperion, was at Oracle in the past, and for me, this has just been uh, an amazing experience in that I look at all the things we were trying to solve from a business intelligence perspective, and at Hyperion, we were really trying to move beyond the office of the CFO into the world of operational analytics. And the big question was always, how do you get the data? What's the data model? What's the schema? You got to build up the, the ETL joins, and you know, along comes Splunk. You're not constrained by that uh, relational construct as a, as a data store underneath it. Really opens up a lot of possibilities and gives users a lot of flexibility with what they can do. So it's been, uh, it's been pretty incredible. At the same time, the amount of data that's available. You know, it's just, um, I know it's kind of trite to use the term big data, but I, I think about it in terms of almost like a Copernican shift. You know, we used to want to take all the data, put it in a database, figure out which column and row it went in, and now it's, it's just too much. So you got to leave it where it is. It's like my, my email inbox. I used to try and build folders. Uh, I can't keep up with that. So now <laughs> I default to the search bar, right? And Splunk, as a real-time streaming engine, uh, search engine on top of this machine data, is a very intuitive, easy way to interact with that kind of data. And That's interesting, right? I mean, search is really, I mean, for a while there, it was like, almost like search was this blunt instrument, and all of a sudden, search is like embedded yes. into all the applications you see, and DECA get taken out by Oracle. I mean, obviously, an Oracle doesn't typically pay that much for companies, so search is becoming a fundamental component of applications. The other thing we've talked about, Bill, a lot, and I wonder if you could comment, is it feels like we're just, from a technology standpoint, reaching this era of a renaissance. Um, you're at Hyperion. Talk a little bit about, you, you addressed it briefly, but give us a little bit more color on sort of the difference between what a customer had to go through in, in, in that world, the, the old traditional BI world, versus how they're applying Splunk. Well, I think the big difference is just the ease of use and the time to value with the software, and that all starts with the concept of the free download, right? And I think this is where the founders were incredibly uh, smart about how they went about this problem in that Kelly. it's the same set of bits in that free download that scale to tens, hundreds of terabytes in the data center. So, you know, before we actually get on the phone with most people, they've had the ability to, to download the software, get it up and running, get some value out of it, understand what they want to do. And that kind of premise of, you know, we want people to be able to get this thing up and running without us having to touch it has been a, a real driving force in the success of the product. Yeah, so it's not neutered. Segment, yeah, you know, no. It's just, you know, here, try it. Now at some point you got to pay, you gotta yeah. pay yeah. for the value. Uh, it's funny, I've actually been in some meetings with some, some partners and we're sitting there and there's a guy looking on his laptop kind of like you and I'm sitting with our CTO across the room and the guy's poking the guy next to him. We're like, oh no, he's downloading the software. <laughs> what went wrong? <laughs> and uh, we asked him afterwards, he goes, playing with the software? He goes, yeah, he goes, I got it up and going. I, I saw some stuff I've been, 
trying to figure out for a couple of years. So, so, so you got the proof of concept done before the sales call ends in that instance. In many instances, yeah. I mean, I think it's pretty unique. You know, customers get value before they pay us a dime in a lot of instances, so. What's the biz dev cycle for you now? Pipeline must be huge, you just have to churn through it. Yeah, I biz mean, dev, it, it takes on a lot of different flavors, right? We got uh, global systems integrators that are now coming to the realization that this is a real platform that they can rapidly build these very compelling analytic apps that deliver high level value to their end customers. We got another set of uh, partners that are actually embedding Splunk as part of their offering. And then we got uh, a growing ecosystem of technology partners that maybe you know, they're not, software is not their core competency, but they collect very valuable data. So for them to be able to expose that data inside Splunk makes their product all the more valuable to the end user, so. Bill, thanks for coming on theCUBE. We appreciate it. I also want to thank uh, Dennis Gallagher for here. waiting because we had to bump, we had to kind of put the bump, bump on someone just to kind of squeeze you in. We wanted to get you on well, and wish you congratulations and thanks for hosting us here. Uh, it's easy to do our job when uh, you got happy customers singing your praise. ROI pays for itself, you know, day one. <laughs> you know, people love the product. Congratulations. Thanks so much. Okay, this is theCUBE. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break.